write a C++ program to create one dimensional array, get the array size from the user, and initialize the array with dynamic elements. After that, we have to find the maximum and minimum of those array element by using a method. In this program, we have to create a one dimensional array which is having a dynamic size and we have to calculate the maximum and minimum from the array by using a function. That means the array need to be passed into a function. So in this program, we are going to see how a dynamic array can be created in C++ and how an array can be passed into a function. For returning the value of maximum and minimum, minimum and maximum, we are using the concept of call by reference because one function cannot return more than one value by using a return statement. So we are defining our function as min max. It takes totally four parameters. The first one is an array of integer. So we have written in star a. It indicates an array of integer number. The second variable n is used to indicate the total number of values present in the array a and there are two call by reference parameter min and max that is used to return the minimum and maximum from the array a. So we have totally four parameters. The first one is a pointer variable indicates an array of integer numbers n indicates the total number of values present in the array and min and max represent the value to be returned from the function. We initialize the value of min and max as the first value of the array which is a of 0. Here a represents the array so each element of a can be accessed by using the index. So the first element will be stored in a of 0. The first element will get stored into the variable minimum and maximum, min and max. Now we are using a for loop to check the rest of the element from the array. So the index is initialized as 1 and it goes up to n minus 1. Then inside the for loop we check the current value of minimum is greater than the value which is present in a of i. That means the new number a of i which is lesser than the current value of minimum. So we replace minimum as a of i. Similarly, we check the current value which is a of i which is greater than the current max. So we replace the current value a of i into the max. So each time in the for loop, we take a new number, a of i, which get compared with minimum and maximum and replace the variable if it is required. If a new minimum has been found, the minimum will get stored into the min variable. And if a new max is retrieved in a of i, then that will get stored into the max variable. So after the completion of the for loop, min will store the most minimum from the array A and max will store the most maximum element from the array A. Now in the main method, first to represent the total number of values to be accepted from the user, we are using an integer variable n and the value of n has been accepted from the user. Now, depending upon the size of n, we create the array by using a pointer. So we have written int star x. So x is a pointer variable and it is initialized by the keyword new and followed by the data type int and the size. So it represents the x is a pointer variable which is capable of storing total n number of integers. So if the value of n is 10, the x is a pointer variable which is capable of storing 10 integer numbers and each integer number can be accessed from the pointer x plus 0, x plus 1, 
till x plus 9 or it can be accessed by using an index x of i where the i should range us from 0 to 9 if the value of n is 10. By using a for loop we accept the value from the user n number of values from the user and get stored into the variable x i by using a scene statement. Now we declare two integer parameter a and b which is used to pass the parameter, the actual parameter into the minmax function for retrieving the value of minimum and maximum. The minmax function has been called with four parameter. x is an array of integer number and n is the total numbers present in the array and a and b are passed as a call by reference. A is passed to the reference min and B is passed to the reference max. So since it is passed as a call by reference, so the value of min will come to the variable A and max will come to the value B after the execution of the function. After the function call min max, we display the value of the actual parameter a as minimum and b as maximum. Because here a and b is passed as a call by reference, so the changes which made on the function min will get reflect back to the variable a and max will get reflect back to the variable b. Because min points to the same memory location of a and max points to the same memory location of b because of call by reference. execute and see the program output. 